have my own girl and pal is here today. Um, I did just wake up, so sorry if I am sounding a little hoarse. Um, I decided to do something a little new for this, for this quick little video. Um, there's a glow style that I just started using. I can show you um, right now a preview of it in a level I'm making. So yeah, it's, it's this style. I really like it. It looks nice. Alright, so let's get right to it. So first thing in the tutorial is we're going to be looking at the colors. Now the colors we are using for this is a very dark shade of blue mixed with a little bit of gray, so kind of in the middle but down below. Both ground colors on black. Um, the line color you can have as white, you can have it as whatever. Um, but I think you should put it as color to copy the object. The object should be a very light shade of the background color. So something like that. The 3D line should be copying the background with a checked brightness of plus 14. Now let's get on to the four colors that you will be using. Color one is the same as the 3D line, just copy of leading channel background um, brightness up by plus 14 then black then the same thing as color 1 but opacity 75 and then black blending all right let's get on to it so the basic structure um, you want to make something like this um, don't use these blocks, use these, that is crucial, you have to use them, I, I guess you don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier if you do. So go ahead and make your basic structure, then go to layer 1, and we're going to start here. So put these blocks as channel 2, make a black outline. Then take brick blocks, you can use those, these, or these. I'll put it in preview mode. You can use either of these three. Me personally, I'm going to be using these bricks. That's, that's about it. Then you are going to place these again, but keep them as keep them at color channel 1 and set their Z order to negative 8. Now that you've done that, we are going to move on to these blocks. Set them to color channel 1 and basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to outline the top like this. So even if you have like still something that's um, wonky like that, still do that. So now, make sure you make these uneven. Unless you have just one block, then you're not going to want to do that. Next thing after that is to come over here to these little line things. Don't know what to call them. Set those to color channel 1 and move them over and using these um, extra small moves, uh, line it up with the, the stuff. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy and paste that, invert it, and move it up. As you can see, this is a little bit brighter at the top but I'll take care of that in a second. So go ahead and copy and paste that and move it around until it's in line with all of these. 
and then just copy and paste these. Now what you're going to want to do for this is copy and paste it, invert it. Uh, no, no, sorry. Um, set that to channel 1 and put it at a scale of 50. That's as far as I can go. Um, just line these up exactly. And yeah, that's it. Now to take care of the way that the bottom looks to kind of counteract the top does, you're going to want to highlight all of these and copy and paste them. If you choose to have the um, if you choose to have them linked, it would make them a lot easier to move around later. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to highlight all of these link them. You can do that for any any of them, but just make sure they're not linked together, both of them. Uh, just don't do that. Next up we have layer 4, and I believe this is this is the glow. So you're going to want to take two of these to the biggest circle glows you can. And you're going to want to set their brightness all the way up to two times. And you're going to want to take the um, the regular size glow ring and you're going to want to line the top with it. These will be important layer later. And if you've placed one of these right there you're going to want to place one of them in that same spot and set these all to block one so they will show above that. So already it's looking pretty dope. Next up, you're going to want to make the, um, the inner glow part for this. So go ahead and set these to, um, yeah, that should be good. Just make sure that these are above those, like set them to block one, and make sure that they show up above that. So next up we have um, the inner glow part for this. Set these all to block one. No, sorry. I remember it. I've made a mistake with this a couple times. But these to tile one, set the Z order to negative one. Then next, we have more outline blocks. So take them like this with the two most thick. It's easier if you do the thinner of the two thick first. Set these to Z order negative two, Z order two. Set them to color channel one so that they're blending. Then next thing is we're going to place 3D lines. These are supposed to be blend, blending and copy background color. Then you are going to want to make the outline of this above the blocks like this. So that way you can highlight it all and set it to channel one easily. Then next thing you're going to want to do is the um, uh, these things. Set them to channel one, and I believe that yeah, they are. So set them there and. As the same thing with the glow, just set them like this. So here's here's the fun part. Um, you're gonna want to take these connector blocks for these. Um, they kind of fit with this, but not really. I just make sure everything here is on block one. Yeah. 
Um, then you're going to want to come over here to the small glow, place one like that, then come over here to these and get one of these blocks, set these all to color channel 2, and make sure they are on block 1, 0 or 10, and line them up. Hang on, I did something wrong. Keep them at the same height as they are, but move their Z stuff. So, yeah, do that. And that should be good. So now it's fading out like that. So you got that going for you. Now if you want to, to make selecting easier later, if you're making multiple, um, go ahead and link these blocks. If you don't know how to turn on link controls, hit the pause button. This will work on mobile as well. and hit, hit the settings um, and go to enable link controls right there in the bottom and there you go. Next up layer 9 let me just see which one this is because I keep forgetting yes that's it. Um, next up you're going to want to come over here to these small blocks set them to color channel 2 and block 1 so there you go. And that's that's good. Next up is layer 10. These you're going to want to set to tile 3. It's the biggest uh, glow you can. And just make it just make a nice sum like that and set them to color channel 2. So it is fading out like that. And if you if you are not satisfied with the way that um, that the way it's fading out, you can always just copy and paste that, and it'll fade out even more. Next up, we have these um, blocks. Set them across the top. Uh, keep them on tile one. Put them to color channel one. Copy and paste them and move them down one with these um, seven fifteenth of a block moves. Next up we have, so go to the chain. And it's these blocks. So set these all to color channel three at seventy at the seventy-five opacity. And you're going to want to fill these in on everything you placed in layer um, three. So anywhere that you have any kind of glow anywhere, put it there. And these will kind of fade out with that, so it'll look really good. So already we're looking really hot. Not me, I'm ugly, but that's beside the point. Next up, you're going to want to set these blocks again to color channel 1. Move them up and line them up with um, with these corners. A quick trick for PC is you can select a block that has half a normal block's width. And if you're in the build section and you're using W, A, S, and D to move around, you can actually just kind of move that around half or in a quarter. So yeah, make sure that is lined up in the center. And copy and paste that over to the middle on the other side. 
Next up, we're on to the spikes because this is done. You have made your epic block design. Now it's time to get onto the spikes and saws. Also, make sure that when you're creating, you use different layers. So, I will be decorating one of these spikes because there's really nothing you can do with that small spike. So what you're going to what you're going to want to do for each of these, you're going to copy and paste another one. Make sure that the base is two and the detail is bl blending four or blending black and just kind of make something like that. So set the big big spike to um, scale 83. I believe you set this one to 75. Set it down like that and do the same thing with two and four. And for this one, you do a scale of and still the same colors. So next thing you're going to want to do is go to the next free layer which should be 14, yeah it's 14. And you're going to want to take, which, which ones are these? Okay, you're going to want to take these glow blocks and you're going to want to set them to channel 1 and kind of make sure they're at the center point of the spike. And just do that for each one of these. Next up, we have something that I find is really cool. Um, go over here to these triangle blocks. Set one of them. Actually, you're going to need a fifth color for this. So copy the object color. And then you're going to want to set this one as a higher Z order. Then set that to color channel too. Oh, and I forgot. Um, set these, these um, black ones to a higher color channel as well. So go ahead and link these. And make sure that they are about three um, small moves down from there. So then, next thing we are going to do is we're going to make it make the one for this spike right here. This cannot use these because it is too wide. So what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to want to copy and paste that uh, this one basically the same thing but this is two but this one is five you're going to want to move that up so it's exactly in half and then just move that down to the center next up is layer 16 which makes the um, which makes that spike complete wait sorry yeah, you need to have that there, and then move that one here, move that one there, move those over too, and there you go. So your spike looks like that. Next up, we're going to move to the saws, and these are personally my favorite saws to make. So first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to place each of these saws. We're going to be doing this all at the same time. So make sure you set the detail to black. You're going to want to copy the values. Go to here, paste them, add an extra Z layer, and paste the or put the color as black. You're going to want to do the same thing, but scale 75 for that one. 
and all the way down to scale 50 for the smallest one. So there you go. Then you are going to want to take these on um, these blocks, set them to color channel 1, and for this one you're going to have to scale it down to 90, and for this one you're going to have to scale it down to 85. So just do that, and then what we're going to do is we are going to select all the saws, um, hit edit special, go to the custom rotating degree, and set it to 30. So next thing we are going to do is we're going to take these big glows, set them to the same um, color and um, layering as the saw, as the inner saws. I'm going to set the first one to two, the second one to one and a half, and then we're going to set the last one. I cannot do this correctly. Set that one to one, and then there you have it. There is your glow design completed. And I will move this all down and I will play test it and everything. But wait, I'm going to move this spike right there. Let's make sure that this is possible to play. Okay, yeah. So now you've completed your glow style, so good job to you. Now let's see how it looks in normal mode. Oh, and one thing I forgot. There is something you always need to do. Every time you're creating with the style, or any style, make sure you're in all. When you're finished with the level, hit pause, select all. Edit group, don't fade and don't enter. Um, for this particular style, you're going to want to go to edit object and turn off glow. And then, yeah, there you go. Now your style is complete. So I hope you guys have had a great day and I hope to see you soon.